What's good, y'all? Your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, got some unfortunate news, man. Apparently, Samantha Irvin will no longer be the ring announcer for Monday Night Raw. She left a post on Instagram and Twitter, and we're gonna check this out, see what's going on here. Um, to be honest with you, I, I did like her ring announcing and you know the energy she brought to you know certain wrestlers and their entrances you know i definitely enjoyed so it's gonna be interesting to see how things go forward on monday night raw when it comes to ring announcements who's gonna be doing that so let's see what's going on let's see what she actually has to say this is on her official twitter um wwe universe my time has uh my time has come to an end as your monday night raw ring announcer I love you all tremendously, and this does not mark the end of my art. I have a lifetime more to share. Thank you to every WWE fan who accepted me to the women's locker room. You are the most incredible group of people on the face of this earth. I am beyond proud to be your colleague and friend to the crew and cameramen. I can't thank you enough for the encouragement, the laughs. You created such a wonderful, positive atmosphere for me. Love you all. To the WWE superstars, past and present, I have thanked uh, you since 1989 and will continue to thank you for the rest of my uh, days, for entertaining us, for raising the bar over and over again, for risking your bodies and finding new ways to keep us shocked and wanting more. There's no form of uh, entertainment like this and uh, not just any entertainer can be a WWE superstar. The respect I have for you is more than I can express. Thank you for making it so easy to pour emotion and excitement into your intro, uh, introductions. You are the stars that the stars idolize. That's that's I like that. You are the stars that the stars idolize. It doesn't get any bigger, and I'm proud to have used my voice to let the world know it. Thank you, Paul Heyman, Michael P. Hayes, and Michael Cole. I will continue to apply what I learned from you to every aspect of my career. Thank you for invigorating my creativity. Thank you, Brian, Road Dog, James, Scott Armstrong, Gabe Spolowski, and George Carroll Jr. for giving me my first opportunities to rise to the occasion. Thank you, Triple H, for trusting me and showcasing me on this platform. Thank you, Mark Henry, for giving me my big break. I hope... I made you proud. Thank you all. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you uh, to all the coaches, producers, medical writers, talent relations, makeup, photography, social media, digital, travel department, catering, merch, 2K team, referees, security, and announce team for everything you did to help me along the way. To my fans, my entire career, I've been waiting. Uh, I've been waiting for you. You are meant to be and i can prove it stay tuned all my love and still samantha and that's it wow man that's crazy to be honest with you it seems like she's leaving wwe her, her profile picture is blacked out it seems like she's leaving it doesn't seem like she's like going over to smackdown because they already have an announcer on smackdown it seems like she's leaving wwe yeah, that's what it seems like. Seems like she's leaving WWE. I don't I don't know. Cuz you, if you're thinking everybody just to go to the next brand, that doesn't make sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I'm, I'm moving over to SmackDown. You're making it seem like you're leaving the, the company. The way she thinks everybody that's involved, it seems like she's leaving the company. That's that's the only thing I I've gotten from this. And once again, her profile picture is blacked out. She's trending right now on Twitter. It seems like she's leaving WWE. That's crazy. Like I said at the beginning of this video, I, I have appreciated the, the, the extra oomph, if that makes any sense, to the wrestler's entrances. Like, she adds a little bit of that flair, a little bit of that spice to certain entrances. Like... What she does with Ludwig Kaiser, like that works. It adds a little bit of flair to his entrance or the Chelsea Green, like all those things add a little bit of spice to the wrestler's entrance. And, you know, the fact that she does that 
and you know and the energy that she brings when she's announcing these wrestlers in these matches you know it's it's always something to be appreciated so one of my favorite moments is her getting emotional at wrestlemania 40 this year as cody finally ended uh, finally finished the story that was a beautiful moment very beautiful moment and you know it's so interesting to see how many people would sit up here on social media and hate on her because she's given emotions. I don't, I don't even think half the people don't even realize the ones that are hating on her and say, oh, she does too much. They don't even realize a lot of times she doesn't know the outcome. She doesn't want to know the outcome because it keeps her reaction fresh, which makes sense. If you know the outcome to a lot of these matches, you're not going to have the same energy. So she doesn't know the outcome to some of these matches or probably all of them. So she's kind of surprised and it gives off that, that energy of, I didn't know this, but now I have to announce it in the moment, in the heat of the moment. So to all the trolls out there, the assholes that just, oh, I think she's, she's overdoing it and all this other stuff. Hey, at the end of the day, they hired her to do the job. And I think she's done a very well job a very good job at being a ring announcer having the vocal inflections giving all these wrestlers different type of vibes to their entrances and energy she's been killing it and it, it's it's going to be interesting to see who they have to replace her it's going to be very tough um i know they have uh someone from nxt that's on smackdown right now kind of getting used to her voice her versus voice is okay still got to get used to it I don't know who they're going to have to replace uh, Samantha unless uh, the the lady that's doing the announcements on SmackDown is going to be doing double duty. I'm not sure. But yeah, Samantha definitely is one of those ring announcers that deserves her flowers. And, you know, for me personally, I can't speak for everybody else. I definitely have enjoyed uh, what she has done when it comes to her in-ring announcing abilities on wwe television so comment down below let me know man how do y'all feel about this recent news of samantha leaving um do you guys think this is uh is going is kind of a i, I wouldn't say we don't know why she left we don't know if it's it's something that she decided to do if it was management so i don't want to give a reasoning you know until maybe we find out and maybe we don't but how do y'all feel about this just in this entirety uh of samantha um leaving essentially what it sounds like wwe at this moment um so y'all let me know how y'all feel and also let me know what was your favorite i guess if you can recall a moment you know of her announcing a certain wrestler that you always liked whether it's chelsea greens whether it's cody rhodes whether it's ludwig kaiser that's that's my favorite once i started hearing that i was like that's actually pretty tough like let me know what's your favorite announcing from her in general over the years but i appreciate all the love and support y'all showing on the channel road to 150k appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace